this is the hub kit from UEI Test Instruments. There's a hub eight, a hub six, and a hub four. The hub four, the difference is you have two clamp meters and two pressure probes or pressure transducers. The hub six, you would add to that both two hygrometers. The hub eight then has the outdoor temperature sensor and the micron gauge. With this hub kit, comparing the most comparable product out there that you're using today that compares to this, our products feel heavy duty compared to the competitor and about $100 less than the competitor today. If you were to go to a wholesaler and do a comparison of like a four kit to a six kit to what brand you're using today for these types of wireless digital tools, you'll find that we're approximately $100 less and have good quality build fill to our products. So with that, I just want to talk about the hub kit, what's in there, how they pair, and the capabilities of utilizing the hub kit uh, from a wireless pro perspective or wireless tool perspective. And take a look at the app itself. Because um, overall, the hub kit from UVI is a strong competitor to many of the com competition of digital tools out there today. This is the sort of placement you would see with different metering devices from the hub kit. Um, <clears throat> have outdoor temperature sensor, a micron gauge, clamp meters, pressure probes or pressure transducers, and then a hygrometer to check in the, internally on the system itself. This is the hub kit. With the hub kit, you get either a four kit, a six kit, or an eight kit. So hub six, hub four, or hub eight. What's nice about that is whenever you buy a hub four or hub six, it comes with all the inserts for the hub eight kit so that you can upgrade along the way. So if I bought a hub four kit, I would have two of the uh, pressure probes or pressure transducers and also um, two of the clamp meters as well. Um, and then when I upgrade to the hub six kit, I would add on the two hygrometers right here. And then with the hub eight kit, you would add on the micron gauge and also outdoor temperature sensor, but all the inserts are available no matter what kit you get so that you can upgrade them as necessary along the way. What's nice about working with the hub kit from UBI is there's no hoses involved. Um, everything's wireless, so any hookup to the system's not utilized because everything's going to be wireless and it's going to provide the uh, measurements that you need to diagnose the system. Um, also, whether for the hygrometer, whether it's the humidity within the duct system as well, um, it's going to allow you to do everything wirelessly. So there's no loss of refrigerant or potential for non-condensables or contaminants to be introduced into the system while you're trying to do these measurements. That's the ideal piece of working with these wireless uh, tooling devices or wireless um, digital tools available from UBI. Now let's talk about a few of the tools that are available. So the pressure probes or pressure transducers are very, very unique in the form that they all swivel. So our pressure transducer or pressure probe swivels uh, 180 degrees, but it also has a port here that allows you to connect uh, for charging or recovery of refrigerant as well. So not only do you have full flexibility of the space that you are able to work in because it swivels 180 degrees, you can also use this port right here for uh, charging and recovery of refrigerant, which is very unique to the UEI brand specifically. For the hygrometer, um, very unique as well. Uh, a very sleek and slim design with the hygrometer. Uh, our hygrometer does have a magnet on there, uh, but what's also cool is that whenever you um, open it up, you press this button, it would open and it will lock into that 90 degree point, but then you want to open it all the way. You could do that. Um, what I want to know about each one of these devices is they engage with the Bluetooth device itself differently. So these engage with the Bluetooth device and show connectivity when you open them. The clamp meters show connectivity when you connect them uh, to the uh, what pipe, whatever it is that you're trying to put that clamp meter on. So once it shows that it's engaged with a piece of pipe, it'll turn on and show green blinking, meaning it is syncing to Bluetooth. The uh, pressure transducers, pressure probes have a power device. The micron gauge has a power device. The 
The um, outdoor temperature sensor has a power device, all of which you utilize to uh, connect to the Bluetooth connectivity on the UEI app itself. On our uh, micron gauge, there is no digital display screen because it is wireless. It does all connect through the application itself. Uh, it does have a magnet, um, but this is a great device, a great micron gauge to utilize whether or not it's for the hub kit and analysis through the hub kit or if you're just using it by itself um, without all these other digital tools from the UEI. It's a great tool to use on its own or with the hub kit itself. And again, it activates through char uh, turning this on right here and connecting to the Bluetooth connectivity to your phone or mobile device to start uh, taking measurements. We love magnets. There's a magnet on the back of the micron gauge. There's a magnet on the back of the outdoor temperature sensor so that it could have free flowing airflow right through the vents here um, as you're trying to check the temperature. And magnets on the hygrometers as well if you would like to do hands free measuring uh, remotely, not to have to be right next to the hygrometer itself. This is the hub app. This hub app does both individual, if you're just using the vacuum gauge tool, it'll do a full-on analysis of so pulling the vacuum down, uh, decay of that uh, vacuum that's been pulled, and whether or not you're meeting the vacuum level that you're trying to get to. Um, like I said before, some devices on the UEI Hub 8 app or the hub app or hub tool app connect to the devices by turning them on. And when you turn on the devices, it shows connectivity of those devices so that you could pair it and then utilize it. So in this case, we're going to go up here to the toolbox. I'm going to go back, but you go up here to the toolbox and you'll see here, I just turned on my, I did just turn on my micron gauge from my kit and you'll see that it has this pressure, I'm sorry, this uh, micron gauge here and you'll just drag it up and you'll drop it in there. And then that's how you get to the point where you're going to start to measure the, uh, whatever that tool is that you're connecting to that Bluetooth for the hub kit, that's what it's going to start to measure. Um, so when you do this, you, again, you just turn it on or activate the tool or device, and then you drag it up into uh, the red box up here in the top. And I'm going to exit it there, disconnect. So it shows up again. And just to connect it, again, you're just going to drag and drop, drag. So click on it, hold it, drag and drop it up there. And then that's how you connect the micron gauge to the device itself. And it'll show full vacuum and the levels you're trying to meet with the vacuum. And if you'd like, you can actually go up here to the settings for vacuum and you could set a target range for your vacuum. Most of the time it's 500, right? So just set your target range, right? And then set the rise limit, whatever it is you're trying to set as your decay. And uh, let's say a thousand, and it'll tell you the timer or time required for it to get to that rise or that point of rise, which would show what decay there is within that vacuum. Um, and again, that's how you utilize the, uh, the micron gauge with the tool set here. And then on the refrigeration side, if I have my clamp meters set up and my pressure probes or pressure transducers, I could check these uh, metrics here, which are line pressure, line temp, outdoor dry bulb, vapor, saturation, target superheat, uh, and then superheat itself. Subcooling line pressure, liquid saturation, and line temperature. You can adjust the different refrigerants that are being utilized as well. And by doing that, you would just click on the refrigerant and you would change it. Uh, sorry, click on the refrigerant and you would just change the refrigerant type that you're utilizing for that system. Then on the air side, uh, for your hygrometer sensor, you can also check return dry bulb, return wet bulb, supply dry bulb, supply wet bulb. Um, and then delta T, target delta T, et cetera, on the air side. And if I hit this little plus button right here, it does expand it out, and it shows both, both supply and return, uh, humidity, dew point, enthalpy, et cetera. These are all the different features that you could utilize within this hub app. Um, some can be utilized without the kit itself, like the micron gauge, but these are all very powerful tools for any technician. Now, what I want to note here is whenever you're doing pairing of any devices, I know I showed the vacuum one with the vac micron gauge. You just hit the toolbox 
right? And then you just see what tools are available and you drag and drop it to the red box. And that's how you pair a device. You do have to make sure that the device that you're trying to pair is actually engaged. So let's just do the refrigeration side. I'll do a clamp meter. The way the clamp meters turn on is just by when you actually clamp onto a device, it gets notified and it turns, starts blinking green. And that's how you know that a device is actually on. But to actually pair it, I just did mine. I went and clamped it onto a little two piece of tubing I have here. And you'll see here, it's already up here, right here in this uh, middle section where it says WPC2, 76 degrees. I'm going to exit out of that, disconnect it. But again, if I wanted to pair it, I would just take it, drag it, and drop it. Take it, drag it, and drop it. And that goes for all of the devices. It's just take it, drag it, drop it. Um, that's it. No, nothing more to it than that. And then on the, let me turn on one of the pressure transducers. Turn on one of the pressure transducers. So I just turned on this pressure transducer. If you look at the top, it says WPP1 right here in the first red box. Uh, that's the pressure transducer I just turned on. But if I exit out, disconnect it, I can reconnect it by taking it, drag it, and drop it, right? That's how you add it. And same thing goes on the air side. So for the hygrometer, right, the hygrometer, we're going to turn on the hygrometer. And to turn on the hygrometer, how that works is when you open it up. So I'm going to open one up. And when I open it up, it starts to blink green. That means it's now connected. And again, you just take it, drag it, and drop it. Take it, drag it, drop it. And that's how you add these tools for diagnostics using Bluetooth devices made by UEI within the hub kit.